morning. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was. I almost had a heart attack, but I've calmed down now. When I was lying in my lovely bed here, I couldn't help but just keep looking at that light. That little light right there. And I keep wondering, how the heck do you replace the light bulb when it burns out? Because there's a cliff right here, down to like the rest of the house. I'm just like, what the heck? Like, do you have to stand here and like go? <laughs> I don't know. That's just what's on my mind. I thought you were wondering what I'm doing right now. <laughs> now you know. This is the Riverside side of Fairmont, and we think that this little building here is where. I stayed when I came here when I was four, but really we are we have no idea, we're not sure. I hiked a little ways up this mountain and they've got uh they got a lot of hiking trails around here. And you notice there's a cute little it's water there. And I don't know, am I supposed to drink it? Mineral water? Oh wow, it's really hot. I didn't expect that. And then it all pours down into this little bathhouse. Here's that building again. This is, this is not as nice as I expected. It's kind of creepy. This is lying dirty pond. <laughs> I'd rather use a real bath. I wonder how old this is. It's kind of warm. I guess it cooled down when I got here. I don't know. I thought it was going to be like cool, but then I went inside. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Okay, this one at least doesn't have rocks. I wonder if anyone actually uses this. And like, maybe a door would be nice. <laughs> yeah, bathhouses are not as glamorous as my grandparents made the sound. My grandpa is making me make my bed because apparently it's really important. That's the first piece of advice he ever gave me. Make a bed. I'm talking to my camera. Oh, you're talking to your camera. Anyway. You want me to hold it while you're making your bed? No, I'm done now. Yeah. My grandpa says, most important thing is you make your bed in the morning so when you come home you're not depressed when you go jump in your bed. There. It's made. I haven't had to make my bed ever in my life. So now we're in this place called Fort Steele. Heritage Town. It's like a pioneer village type thing. Good act. And there's a train and for the first time in my life I'm going to go on a train. I was asking how big is it? Yeah. There we are. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, old style. Yeah. That smoke, if you can see it, is because we're on a steam train. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, there's a cowgirl. <laughs> she waved at you. It's not going very fast. Oops. And you're now at the back of the train. Huh, that'd be kind of cooler to stand here if it were moving. Uh oh, what was that sound? I got a weird. Oh, this is cool. I always wanted to go on a train my whole life, and now my dream is coming true. I've had a lot of dreams coming true since I started my blog. Flying an airplane, zip lining, on a train. I bet there's some other dreams I forgot about because I have a lot. You don't want those in the pistons, so we do shoot them out every time we do a round. It actually burns some of the needles off the pine tree there every so often. It's about 170 pounds of pressure and quite hot. You would not want to be standing in front of that. So this engine, of course, is the 1077. You can see on the back how much water and oil it holds. The whole back portion there is a large oil and water tank. Now the 1077 was built in 1923, making it 88 years old. Not too many people can say they've ridden on an 88-year-old steam train before. There's a real train. That's a real train. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're moving. Yeah, I got it this time.
myself and the entire crew of the 1077. We hope you enjoy the ride and hope to see you again soon. There's like a whole little town here. I got to the end of the trail and now there's a bunch more buildings. Hmm. Get a job. Right there, there are gold panning. Girl. You're proud to be panning for gold, aren't you? Hard to believe. Jack Flash is a dentist, so I'm gonna check inside just in case uh, he's watching my blog. Dun, dun, dun. That looks pretty scary and I'm not even getting my teeth done. Oh, oh yeah, definitely painless. There's a row of teeth there. Oh my gosh, I guess I can only do one person at a time. I don't know, this place is creeping me out. I wanna get out of here as fast as I can. We went and saw a play, but I couldn't film that because of the law. Um, but this is a jail cell right here. And what if that's a poop bucket? That would be a, a kitchen stove. Uh huh. And they put wood in that and they fired that up. Thank you for your visit. Welcome back to 2011. Everyone, this is Stacy's room. We're Skyping. Okay. Okay. It looks pretty much like my room, Stacy. Do you have a closet? I, well, it's, it's not a closet, actually. It's a little cubby hole. That's it. <laughs> it's almost a closet, but not quite. Yeah, and I have a skylight that wakes me up because the sun shines down onto my face, and it makes me so hot that I need to wake up and, like, wash the sweat off of my body. Oh, <laughs> at first I was about to say that sounds great until you talk about the sweat. <laughs> It's awful, actually. I hate it. I wish there were blinds, but no. And the other morning, I forgot that there was a skylight, and I thought it was just a hole in my roof, and there was a bird right on top of it, and I thought the bird was going to come to my room, and I screamed. Oh, no! You were probably not awake yet. No, it was 5 in the morning, so, yeah. Oh, and I have a special friend with me. This is Howard. Howard? Yeah, my friend Joe named him. I got him for Christmas and he came with me. I'm just going to bed here. Night.